Hello. Um, thank you, Ben. Um, so uh, let me begin with uh, a bit of uh, DevOps uh, with GitHub. So let me uh, first share a small slide presentation to get you through a few things. So uh, hope I uh, hope you can see my uh, presentation now. So basically, uh, what we are going to look at is uh, on the DevOps capability with GitHub uh, using GitHub Actions. Um, and uh, the agenda for today is like understanding the basics of uh, GitHub Actions. Um, I will be talking about a couple of minutes about that. And then uh, we can move on to building a sample mobile application with GitHub Actions. Uh, I just choose mobile application because uh, this session uh, altogether is talking about Xamarin. So we, we are going to build a Xamarin based mobile application with GitHub Actions. And uh, I would try to deploy an uh, Android APK to uh, Microsoft App Center uh, using GitHub Actions uh, just to show you how it uh, really works. Um, so when it comes to uh, sorry, uh, yeah, when it comes to uh, GitHub Actions, actually actions are individual tasks. So if you are familiar with any other uh, DevOps platform such as Azure DevOps, um, there are steps and tasks. So similarly, GitHub also has actions which are individual tasks which can uh, perform an individual action. So it can be a file copy task, it can be a uh, build task, it can be a deploy to somewhere task. So likewise, there are a lot of uh, tasks available as well, as uh, you can actually uh, create your own tasks as well. So there's a marketplace in GitHub where you can find the actions available and uh, utilize them. So um, we can have a practical look at them in a little while. And uh, the next thing that uh, I'm going to talk about is uh, how we can use these uh, actions into a job. A job is actually a scope of uh, a workflow step. So it, it's similar to running something on a machine. So you can run uh, jobs on uh, Ubuntu, you can run on jobs on Windows, or you can run on uh, Mac OS as well. So that that's similar to uh, somewhat uh, what we have in Azure uh, DevOps as hostage agents. So you, you can run these jobs on uh, kind of agent machines available with GitHub Actions. So you can specify what is the uh, uh, job run platform and then uh, it will run on the given platform. Then these uh, jobs and actions can be uh, uh, built up to a workflow. Uh, which would actually perform the entire set of actions in a given sequence. So you can even set uh, dependencies between these uh, uh, jobs so that one job may uh, depend on another job so that you can create a sequence as well. So let's, uh, I mean, when you have a look at practically, you will understand how that really works. And all these things work on YAML syntax. Um, a syntax uh, is uh, somewhat similar to what we had in Azure uh, DevOps as YAML pipelines, but uh, the uh, the syntax a little bit uh, differ from there as well. So like uh, this is a bit specific syntax to GitHub Actions. So you can um, try to understand them and there's a good documentation available with uh, GitHub Actions. So you can go and find out what is the syntax to be used. Um, so with that, uh, let me uh, move on to see what we are going to see today. So I have already got a mobile application, a very basic sample mobile application. I have downloaded the code from GitHub. So what I'm trying to do is I will try to build this application using GitHub Actions. Um, so it has uh, three parts actually, iOS, uh, Android, and even universal Windows platform application. But what I will do is only try to build the Android and the iOS application. So once I get it built, uh, I will try to uh, publish this APK as an artifact in the workflow itself, and then download that artifact. Uh, so this, this might be required because you might want to execute certain steps in a given job and another set of steps in another given job. So in that case, you have to download, you have to have the download capability of the artifacts. And uh, then uh, 
we can see how to get it deployed to App Center using another action. Um, so um, I think it's time to move on to see the things practically. So I mean, rather than staying on slides, uh, these kind of uh, things can only be clearly understood only when we have a look at the uh, practical aspect of it. So let me take you to a browser window and go to GitHub and uh, show you how it really works. So let me try to share my browser window here. Yeah, let me try to share my browser. OK, I hope you can uh, see my browser window. So you can see that I have a repository called uh, mobile sample here but I will use another one um, that is. Uh, so let me take you to a mobile actions demo, which is I have created uh, for this particular demo itself. So in this repository, um, if I zoom it a little bit, uh, we have only a folder with a um, couple of uh, other folders, which is having separate projects. So in this particular solution, it has three projects. Um, these are very basic uh, projects, uh, which is actually available in GitHub itself. So I have downloaded it and uploaded it here. Uh, and so it's it's a iOS application and then uh, Android application and a UWP application. So um, let's try to get these uh, built with uh, GitHub Actions uh, to understand how we can uh, build something uh, on a push or a pull request, um, how to do a build. So um, to begin with, uh, let me try to add a file. So if you can see here, you can see a create new file option is there. And um, here what I can say is uh, dot GitHub, um, then uh, slash workflows. Uh, then I will uh, give a name as main yaml. So this is the file that I'm going to create. Um, so in this particular yaml file, I'm going to specify what is the workflow. So when when should this workflow be executed is defined by on. So uh, on command would be the first syntax. So um, I will be using on push opal request here. So when I say this uh, on push opal request, um, so this again can be filtered into a different syntax as well. So for example, if I say on and uh, instead of putting it like this, I can say tab uh, push and then I can specify uh, the branches just like this so, um, and add the branch filters. So it will be uh, built only based on push happens to a given branch so you can you can change the syntax like that if you want but for now i will uh, just uh, build for any push or pull request made so um, this is uh, the main thing that needs to be done then uh, the next step would be to say uh, uh, what are the jobs so i will say jobs uh, sorry about my typing so let me try to zoom a little bit so you can see it clearly. Um, so jobs and um, these jobs uh, can be then defined as individual jobs. So let me, the indentation is uh, really uh, should be valid here. Otherwise there'll be issues. So I will, uh, I will first uh, save a basic template and then uh, then when we are going into edit mode, you will be able to see more syntax support actually. So in the initial creation of the file, uh, since I have not saved this file, it's not yet uh, not yet visible to you, but uh, we can get some uh, syntax support uh, when we are actually save this file. So let's uh, let's save this with a really small um, attempt to build the Android step. And then uh, from there onwards, we can try to improve this uh, pipeline or workflow to get it uh, to the next steps. So let me try to just introduce the Android uh, build step. So what I can do is um, let me let me copy it over here because uh, I don't want to make syntactical mistakes. 
in a session like this. So this basically says uh, this is a Android build and uh, you can see it runs on Mac OS latest and you can specify the version if required and it uses the action checkout and like uh, it will when you say action checkout at v1 it will down uh, download the code available in the given branch so um, so the current branch code will be downloaded and uh, so then what i'm going to try to do is actually change the directory to uh, awesome app and do a new get restore and then do a ms build and uh, package my uh, my mobile application as a android apk so that is the that is the uh, basic syntax use. So you, you can use multiple uh, actions to do these steps, but I choose to use the MS build step. Uh, that's that's totally fine. Um, so let's try to save this and try to see how it uh, goes up. So so how how we can uh, commit this and see what what will happen. So let me try to create a new branch for the safety anyway. And I will say um, build uh, or something for the branch. And I'll just say adding Android build step. So when I do this um, and uh, I propose the new file. OK, so um, the file should be there now and uh, actions should kick in in a moment so let's see okay it shows an error uh, don't worry about it so we will be able to fix it um, let's go and see what's the error. most probably it should be indentation um, because like i didn't use the support of proper indentation so no jobs defined in jobs okay so let's go and uh, try to fix this issue and uh, get it uh, up and running so how i can do that is i'll go to the branch build demo and uh, i will go into the uh, git workflows and uh, go to the main yaml and now i try to edit this okay now uh, i'll just try to move this away okay so now you can see there's a bit of support in here uh, with the actions. So you can even search actions like uh, if you want to search for App Center. Uh, so you can see App Center actions are available here. So likewise, uh, there's support once you save the file. And you can see there's an error saying like um, there's some some sort of uh, issue here. So my, my problem is actually uh, I have used capital J here. So let me try to uh, fix it. Um, so then uh, I'll just, okay. And I, I, I can even even keep this, uh, this one like this uh, with a tab should be fine. Okay, so, so the syntax is really important. So you can see that my mistake was like, it was like capital J. So you need to use simple J for sure. And uh, let's try to commit this uh, change and see, uh, what would happen? So I will not create another branch because I'm I'm on the particular branch that I'm trying. So I will say fix syntax. And uh, I'll commit this change. And let's try to go to actions and see what would happen. So you can uh, see now my uh, push is actually uh, doing, trying to build the change. So if you go into here, you can see Android job is getting uh, executed. And if you want to see the log, you can go and see the log. So you can see the actions are running. So let me uh, scroll a bit. Um, so you can see Android steps are also running. So this should uh, actually build a Android uh, APK. So that APK, then I, I'm trying to get it published, uh, or we can actually go ahead and add the iOS step as well, just to see how it works. And then we can go ahead and uh, try to upload this artifact as a workflow artifact. So this would take a little bit of time to build. Um, 
so we will uh, we will have to wait uh, for it to build uh, or we can go ahead and um, edit okay it seems done okay so you can see now uh, I'll, I'll refresh a bit and show you so you can see uh, all the steps have been completed and if I search the log for uh, dot apk uh, I should find a file so let me try to locate that file somewhere this is a bit annoying in this Teams window. Okay. Um, let me uh, go and uh, see the file here. Should be somewhere. Okay. You can see it has created something called uh, com company name awesome map APK. So that APK is generated and um, copy and available in the build. So uh, what we need to do is we need to make sure we are publishing the, this as an artifact in the pipeline, the workflow, and uh, we have to try to build the uh, iOS application as well. So let's let's get into those steps now. Uh, so what I will do is I'll go back to code and uh, go back to my branch and I will try to go to my YAML and do the changes. So here, um, I can add a another step to Android build to do the uh, artifact upload. So right now, I'll try to zoom a bit so that you can clearly see what I'm doing. Um, so here, what I'm doing is I'm having a job and Android step. Uh, so this is one one particular action that I have been performed. Then. Uh, the next action that I'm going to do is, uh, so it's really important the indentation. So if there's indentation issue, the GitHub will notify you, you with errors. So let's let's try to actually set up a another action. Actually, the, this action is to upload the artifact. So what I will do is, okay, you can see there's an immediate error saying uh, it's in the wrong. Place. Okay, now you can see uh, we have uh, it's it's inside this particular job Android job. It is running as a step. So this step uses uh, this particular action that is upload artifact version two. So that is the action that is uh, getting used. So upload artifact is the action. So if you want to search for these actions, so let me bit, uh, zoom this out and like what you can do is you can search for upload uh, upload artifact or something upload. Uh. Okay, so you can see there's uh, a action called upload a build artifact. So that 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 is what I am using here. So you can click on this and find the syntax and apply it here. So what I'm trying to do here from this particular action is um, my awesome map APK. Uh, I'm gonna put it as a published artifact in this particular pipeline. So once I have that there, um, we can go ahead and do the deployment step next. But um, I will go ahead and okay, I don't need this. I will add the add another job to do the iOS build as well. Uh, so let me add the iOS build step as well, just to uh, get you the idea how to do it. So you can see now it's it's in a, it's in different indentation with the um, it, it should be aligned with the Android and the iOS is another job. So it's running on and we need to specify where it is running on and uh, we need to say OK, uh, this is the steps to build the app. So let me let me do it a little bit faster because we uh, seem to be running out of time a bit. So let me say. Uh, upload. OK, uh, I have spelling mistakes here, but that's OK. So let's uh, commit this change and see how it goes. So let me open this in another tab so that uh, you will be able to 
see this clearly how it happens. So you can see now there are two jobs. One is Android and the other one is uh, iOS. And Android job is um, actually performing a couple of tasks now. One is uh, doing the Android build and the other one is actually it's upload artifact. So um, we have to wait till this happens, but I will take that time to do the rest of the editing in the pipeline so that we can save a little bit of time. So let me go here and try to add the next set of steps that I'm going to do. So here now we have a upload step and uh, we have uh, everything uh, running. So like um, so this is building iOS app. So my next step would be to actually add a uh, deployment to App Center step. So how, how we are going to deploy the App Center, for example. So let me show you App Center here. Now in my App Center, I have a demo organization create here, created here, and I have created a demo app, which is actually uh, named as uh, this, and then uh, it is actually a app uh, based on uh, Xamarin and uh, uh, Android. So that's how I have set it up. So in here, actually, I have a distribution group. Actually, this distribution group uh, groups have uh, I have a collaborators group, and then I have added a new group called beta testers. So uh, maybe I can add a new uh, group uh, just to show you, uh, let's say alpha testers or something. Um, and I'll create a group here. So in this group, you can see there's no releases made. Um, <clears throat> so this group uh, is there. And then uh, when you go into this uh, settings, actually, uh, this is how you can generate an API token. Uh, so I have already generated the token and I have a copy of my token. So you can create a new API token, which can actually communicate with the App Center using the GitHub Actions. So uh, when it comes to Azure DevOps world, what we have been doing is creating a service connection. But instead of doing that here, we have to provide uh, the app, app uh, secret uh, in the action itself. So let me uh, let me show you how to do that uh, in a moment. So while this is there, now we, we have to create a secret. So that secret we can store as a secret value. So th these secret values, you can actually type it in the in the steps itself. But uh, rather than typing it in the uh, script itself, it's better to uh, use, uh, use a uh, secret variable in the GitHub rather than using it as a uh, value in your script so that uh, it's not exposed. So what we can do here is, um, Go ahead and um, add uh, App Center distribute uh, action. So the first step that uh, in this uh, particular, okay, let me paste it here and show you. Okay, now this is not aligned again, so I need to put a tab here. So now this is a new job. So App Center distribute is a new job. Now you can see it runs on Ubuntu latest, and it needs Android. And so the steps that I'm going to use is one is artifact download. So download artifact step is used and I'm making sure now this is two different machines, right? So we are we are uploading artifacts from this particular machine, which is actually running on Mac OS and uh, that artifact is downloaded back again in this workflow to a Ubuntu machine using download artifact. And uh, the name is provided same so that the artifact is getting downloaded. So if you want to download it into a specific path, you can actually add a path element here. So you can just uh, type uh, the name as path and download to a specific path. But I will skip that. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm downloading uh, my uh, artifact to the default location. OK, I think I made a some sort of a mistake, so let me paste it again and just make sure that it's there. Okay, what's wrong here now? Okay, what did I make? Okay, let me let me zoom out a bit and uh, fix this issue here. Okay, 
it should be properly aligned. So, so all, all that matters is the alignment. So it should be properly aligned with the job. So as Android, iOS and those jobs, this should be aligned with the uh, proper alignment. So if you miss the alignment, you have to fix it. Uh, so now it's fixed, um, then it's downloading. And then the next step is to use uh, another action and actually uh, use uh, this action to deploy it to the App Center. So uh, now how we are going to define this particular secret uh, is the next problem. So let's go into a another window and like let me see first uh, our build has finished. So you can see the build has finished and uh, you can see there are artifacts. So if you click on this my artifact, um, it's getting downloaded and like uh, inside this artifact, the uh, APK file should be there. So I will not go into extract it, but like uh, inside that one, the APK file is there. So uh, you can download it and uh, verify it as well. So how we are going to create the secret is um, you have to go to settings. And uh, there is a section called secrets. So in this section, you can add a new secret. So for the name of the secret, I will make sure I'll use the same name. Uh, otherwise, uh, it will not be read. So I will use the name and then you can give the value. So I will I, I have a copy of the value and then I will uh, copy it and save it here. So this is the value of the secret. So, so this is how you are going to create secret variable. So if you have any connection to any any other outside services or anything, or if you want to save it as uh, secret values, you can save it here. So if you want to define variables inside the workflow itself, there is a variable syntax. I mean, you can go to the documentation and check. So you can define variables using that. But for the secrets, you have to come here and create a secret like this. So let me add the secret. So once the secret is created, it's not visible anymore, but the value can be obtained by the workflow. So what happens here is uh, when you're using the workflow, you have to say secret, secrets, and then dot app center API token. And the syntax is beginning with a dollar like this, and then uh, ending should be like this. So that's the whole syntax of uh, getting that done. So what I'm doing here is in my App Center task, I'm using a marketplace available App Center deployment task O action. And this particular action, I'm using this particular version. So this is the version specification of the action. And this is the action itself. And uh, it will download this action and execute it in the Ubuntu latest instance. So what would happen is it will try to deploy to beta testers. In, instead of doing this to beta testers, what we can do is we can try to deploy it into the new group that I have created by the name of uh, alpha testers. So let me try to copy the name of the group. So I'm copying and pasting because I want to make sure I'm not making that kind of a mistake. So this is the group name, this is the token, and this is the app name. So how you find the app name in App Center is, so in the App Center MS Orgs, this is your organization name. And uh, now, you have to omit this apps part and use this demo app. So it's chdemo org slash demo app. So that's how the um, app name is specified here. And this is the group. And then where to find the file. So once it is downloaded and extracted the my artifacts in the default location, from the default uh, execution location, it will have uh, my uh, file in this particular part because I, I didn't uh, properly organize it uh, in the artifact. Uh, it just copies the entire path, so it doesn't matter here. So you can uh, specify the file like this, and you can add a release node, and even you can use variables and like dynamically add some sort of resource, uh, release nodes if, if required. I'm just saying a demo test here, just to show you how it works. And uh, that's uh, pretty much how, how we can get it deployed to App Center. So let's try to get it uh, up and running. So I'll say uh, App Center deploy. And uh, 
when we commit this, uh, now this is actually still running to my branch because I have not yet merged this uh, YAML into my master. So when I do this, uh, if I go to my actions, uh, I should be able to see App Center deploy is started. So this is the command that I have given in my uh, my commit. So that is shown here. Now, uh, I think I missed one thing to say. That is, uh, you can see only two jobs are running here. Now, why the third job or the App Center distribution job is not parallelly started? That is because I have done a specification here, which I missed to tell you. Let me go in. OK, I don't have to go into edit mode. Uh, OK, it doesn't matter. Let me say cancel and try to show you by zoom, zooming in. So um, in here, you can see this particular job has specified a need. It says needs Android. That means it is actually saying this App Center distribute will only start only after completing Android job. So Android job, if it is successfully completed only, this one will trigger because we are having a dependency of this particular artifact. If I didn't have this needs Android, what would happen is all the jobs will parallelly start and this will fail because there is no artifact available yet. So we need to wait till this job completes and have the artifact available to get it downloaded to the Ubuntu machine and get it deployed to the App Center. For now, App Center tasks only works on Ubuntu. It doesn't work on Mac OS. So, so we need to make sure we are getting it downloaded to uh, to the Ubuntu and then uh, do the deployment. And uh, when it comes to uh, Mac OS, why I'm using Mac OS to build uh, Android is I can use Visual Studio Mac on Android and then I can use the MS build. Um, if you are using some sort of other build mechanism to build your uh, Mac OS, uh, you can do it in uh, Ubuntu as well. So it, it, it depends on how you want to build it. Uh, so since I wanted to use MS build, I use the Mac OS latest. And then uh, I wanted to transfer the artifact into a Ubuntu machine and then deploy it. So I made a need here to say a job is dependent on another job. So that's how it is specified. So you need to learn all these uh, little bit of syntax to understand how it works and how the workflow can be organized. So if we go and see uh, this now, you can see the distribution has also completed. Now we only had the first two steps earlier, but now you can see App Center distributed also work. Uh, so if it has worked properly, then I should see a release here. So let me go here and have a look at this. So we have got a release uh, published just now. So which is an APK, you can see my release notes and everything is here and it's an Android uh, application. So uh, this this gives an overall idea how you can uh, how you can get an application built and deployed into uh, the App Center. This is only on mobile applications, but if you want to do a uh, lot of other things with uh, say, uh, this kind of, and what we can do is like, uh, since uh, I have completed this, what I can do is uh, do a pull request now, because because I have a branch which is having a set of uh, code that is added the pipeline. So I, my master is not yet having this information, so I can uh, create the pull request. So once I start to create the pull request, I can say um, build and deploy to apps. I should go to end and I can add whatever the notes I want and then I can create a pull request. So once I create the pull request also, again, a set of uh, actions will start to execute because um, I, I set it up to uh, run on push and pull request. So you should be seeing an action that is, yeah, you can see the pull request has triggered again. So that what will happen is these steps will be executed again. Now, if you want to filter certain jobs uh, not to be executed, say, for example, when you're on a pull request, if you don't want to deploy, you can control them as well. 
So you can go ahead and uh, in that particular job, you can set uh, the syntax so that uh, it will only run on uh, push, not on pull request. So it, it's similar to having custom conditions in uh, Shared DevOps. So you can go ahead and set up those things as well. So all the syntax can be found on the documentation. So we will, uh, we can wait for uh, this to get completed. Um, in the meantime, let me show you what are the uh, marketplace components that are available. So just to give you a hint. So when you go into actions, you can see there's a lot of community contributions and uh, a lot of actions available. So you can maybe um, <clears throat> do a search for these things. Uh, for example, if you want to build something for Azure, so we can see what are the Azure options available. So you can see Azure Web App and Azure App Service settings. So this would put, uh, allow you to uh, apply the uh, Azure App Service settings uh, in Azure platform. And uh, this is actually Azure Function Action. So likewise, there are actions coming up and um, I think there'll be a lot of actions available in future, but uh, you can you can also develop actions as well. You can see the documentation how you can go ahead and develop your own action, actions and um, have your own uh, required steps to be executed in these things. So you can even use Docker and like uh, let those Docker containers get executed in the uh, defined uh, steps. So that that's also possible. Uh, that is how it's actually working for this particular um, App Center Distribute. It's actually running on uh, kind of a, a Docker container. So if you go and check this thing. So if I remember correctly, this is kind of uh, running on a Docker container. So if you just, okay, I just don't remember. Okay, so you can um, go and check. Uh, I saw some, oh yeah, this is the one. So you can see this particular action is actually a Docker container. So, so you can, um, you can use those kind of uh, development for the actions. Uh, so that's also possible to do. Uh, so that's pretty much it that I have to show you. Um, I think I only have six minutes left. So uh, if there is any question I can take or else uh, I can hand it over to Ben. So this is basically I have shown a very simple example, but uh, you can do pretty much a uh, lot of things with this. Anything, any questions? So I'll stop sharing my screen now. Uh, ben, I think you're mute. Still can't hear you. Yes, I've got a question. Okay, no, it's okay. Yes. Um, yeah, so if you've got any question, please um, post it in the live event QA section. Uh, which is here. I'm just going to um, uh, add uh, a comment here. Yeah. I posted something to live QA uh, section, so feel free to post anything. So far, not that many questions. As a total zero. Chamin, do you, do you mind uh, asking yourself a question? Uh, you're on mute now. It's your turn. Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, GitHub Actions is uh, so new, so um, uh, what is the question? Uh, or, or you may just like uh, just uh, um, did uh, show a little bit maybe of the equivalent in uh, in uh, DevOps maybe or something something nice there. Mm, yes. I can do that, yes. Yeah, sure. we've, got, we've, got, we've got like, my session is going to be like in 20, 20 minutes, so we've got that 10 minutes break, so we've got like something like uh, maybe five minutes before like the... Okay, sure, sure. Uh, I, I will show the equivalent of uh, this uh, same thing that we have done in GitHub in Azure DevOps. Um, so let me share my screen again. Uh, 
So yeah, for sure I can do that. Um, oops, uh, I, yeah, let me try to open up. Oh, I think this browser is not visible to you. Let me share it again. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay. So here, uh, uh, Ben, is it okay to show something from the office? I don't know. Hello? Well, uh, probably not. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Like, so um, I, don't oh. know. I don't have a mobile sample on my uh, my Azure DevOps. So uh, what I will show you is like, okay, let me let me do this uh, DevOps. Uh, so let me take you to. Uh, okay, let me let me try to do something else. Okay. I actually, 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 you know what? It's just like anyway. Was okay. So, uh, so this is uh, this is the code, uh, the same code. So, if I want to build a mobile app here, like, um, so let me show you in Azure DevOps what you can do. So, uh, when you go into create pipelines, you can actually uh, go and do the same YAML syntax, or you can even do a visual syntax. And uh, you can use a repo like this, and uh, you can say uh, iOS or Android build. Yeah, you can do iOS template like this, and then uh, just uh, now this is uh, this is much much uh, richer than what you have seen in GitHub because uh, because it's it's so much matured than that. But GitHub will be the way to go in future, and it will get this uh, richness. Um, quickly, I think. Um, so, so this is much easier to get started. So you can even see the App Center stuff is also getting added automatically. So you can even deploy it from App Center to App Center from the build itself. So uh, when it comes to Azure DevOps, it's uh, it's a bit uh, easier to handle this stuff because uh, it's a couple of, I mean, it has been available for decade over a decade now. So it's it's having its own capabilities, um, but it's good to learn uh, GitHub Actions and know how to do it as well, so that uh, so that uh, you are ready for the future. Because the future will be GitHub Actions to do the uh, build and deployment of pipelines. So that's that's basically it, Ben.